as an orthopedic surgeon, I wear two hats. Uh, I'm a fellowship trained hip replacement surgeon, and I'm also a fellowship trained uh, orthopedic trauma surgeon. On days when I'm not doing hip replacement surgery, I'm taking care of uh, trauma patients with complex multitude of injuries, anywhere ranging from upper extremity injuries, uh, shoulder, elbow, forearms, uh, to hip fractures, pelvic fractures, hip socket fractures, and fractures of the knees and lower leg. One of the rewarding and interesting part of being an orthopedic trauma surgeon is I have to be uh, current uh, with medical treatments uh, and also be well versed uh, in taking care of all kinds of injury. A lot of times uh, I do not know what cases I'll be doing the next morning, which means I have to be always prepared. Uh, a typical day starts around 4.30 in the morning when I wake up, I log onto the computer, look at x-rays, take a look at injuries that come in the night before and uh, plan those surgeries. A uh, normal day can go anywhere from about 4.35 in the morning to uh, 6, 7 uh, and sometimes into the late hours of the night. Uh, but certainly this is also a very rewarding field because uh, we do make impact uh, in terms of being able to help people who have unexpected life events uh, get back to their norm. In terms of uh, trauma, a lot of these are unplanned. Uh, falls from height, uh, automobile accidents, slippery surfaces uh, where people slip and fall. Uh, but certainly uh, some of those trauma injuries can also be prevented. Uh, certainly being able to adequately forecast uh, what's safe and what's not safe, uh, limiting heights. Uh, one of the injuries we see a lot of will be uh, during the seasonal periods uh, when people are hanging lights. Uh, for Christmas when people fall from their rooftop. Uh, so again, a lot of these injuries happen to uh, citizens and individuals who are just going by their everyday business. And part of my charge is to be uh, at my optimum best to be able to deliver world-class care and get these patients back to their normal position. In terms of our trauma patients, when they initially present to the hospital, uh, these patients are initially seen by the general surgery trauma team, uh, make sure that they do not have any life-threatening injuries. Uh, things we worry about will be uh, bleeding internally, uh, lung injuries, uh, blood loss, and things of that nature. Once this patient is stabilized uh, in what we call the golden hour, which is uh, one of the most critical points to have this patient be stabilized, uh, then I get involved. Uh, from a trauma standpoint, uh, most injuries in orthopedic can also be limb-threatening, uh, and some of them can be life-threatening uh, if they have uh, worsening infection and things of that nature. But once this patient is stabilized by the trauma surgeons, I come in, and uh, my charge is to stabilize the limb, uh, save the limb and uh, get our patients back to their normal baseline in terms of uh, functioning. Things we see uh, will be open fractures, uh, which will be considered an emergent uh, need to go to surgery uh, to, watch, to wash out the wound, remove any contaminants and stabilize the bone. We have medical conditions uh, like compartment syndrome where the pressure in the leg continues to uh, build up uh, and this can usually lead to necrosis of the muscle or what we call muscle death if not addressed right away. So as an orthopedic trauma surgeon, I have to be very versed uh, in the diagnosis and treatment of all these emergent conditions. And also there are times when, you know, at two in the morning, three in the morning, we have to go back to the hospital uh, to stabilize all this uh, unstable open fractures. Again, the most important thing is to save life, preserve limb and return these patients to function. And that's, uh, that's something that I really enjoy doing.